Hello, and welcome to week four of Hamped Up. I'm Connor McClendon, and this week we're kicking it with boys soccer. I'm here with Emmett Volkman and Ian Hutchins, and we are here to talk about the soccer team, so welcome to week four of Hamped Up. Thanks, bud. Thank you. So it seems like this team has more injuries almost than the football team does. So what have you guys done this season to make sure that you're still be staying competitive even though you're missing a lot of players? Um, I think the biggest part is that we have a lot of really versatile players that can fill in wherever we need them. Like we've had players playing left back, center back, center mid, you know, everywhere, everywhere we need it. So high school soccer seems like it's a much more aggressive style of play than like professional soccer. So who would you say on this team is your enforcer? <laughs> I mean, it's between Sal and Jameson for me. They're both really intense. I mean, they've, they've hurt some kids. I have to go with the same thing, but I want to add JD. He's just a good midfield player. So I get annoyed when I watch the World Cup and I see guys get carried off the field on stretchers for injuries that clearly aren't that serious. So what team in Western Mass do you think is most similar to a World Cup team? Ooh. Uh, Throwing shots, but Holyoke. Yeah, Holyoke kind of sucks. So you guys had a slow start to this season, but now you're undefeated in league play. You're in the second place, and you have two league opponents this week. So how big is this next stretch for you guys to stay in front in, in your league? This is a huge stretch. We have two league games coming up this week, and one against is Westfield, which is the first team in the league. So we got to go put our hearts into the game. And then Friday, same exact thing. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the soccer team? Come to our games. Yeah, support us. Right. We're good. <laughs> All right, great. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of fun being here. I'm usually yeah. on the other side of the camera. So. In other sports news, the girls' soccer team currently sits in third place in their league. They are set to begin a six-game home stretch next week. The field hockey team is undefeated in league play, and they are in first place. Both the boys' and girls' cross-country teams had off weeks this week, so they remain undefeated on the season. The golf team is still in last place. And finally, the football team remained unbeaten on the season with a 30 to nothing victory over East Longmeadow this past Friday. The win was especially impressive considering Northampton was missing running back Nick Smith and wide receiver Andy Gregorsevich.